was different about the pain tonight that led you to, to call to the dugout to come get you? Que sentiste hoy en la molestia que fue diferente que llamaste a los trainers hoy. Ah, me estaba sentiendo la molestia un poco más fuerte, me molestaba más de lo normal y y decidí llamar a los trainers. Yeah, today, uh, tonight was more than you, than usual. You know, the pain was more, uh, was just more, you know, and uh, that's why I decided to call the trainers out because it was just uh, more than what I've encountered lately. Are you worried there could be a bigger issue here? Eh, te preocupa que tal vez haga una cosa más seria de lo que tú eh, piensa, pensaba. Sí, me preocupo un poco, me, me preocupo un, un poco, pero no, a ver qué, esperar a mañana a ver qué pasa. Ya, yeah. uh, it, it's worrisome, you know, uh, but we gotta wait, we gotta wait till tomorrow and, and see we, um, what happens. Did you, did you feel anything in the bullpen? Sentiste eh, eh, algo en el bullpen calentando. Eh, sí. Yeah, when I was warming up, felt a little bit. Did you, did you feel like it would go away, or did you feel like you could just pitch through it when the game started? Pensaste que tal vez podía pichar con con la molestia, tal vez como la he hecho antes. Sí, ese era el objetivo, lo que lo pensaba, pero a veces no sé si es que me estaba apoyando mucho o algo, me estaba molestando demasiado. Yeah, um, you know, uh, previously you know I've been able to pitch with it, so uh, to manage it. It is just that um, when I got out there, it was just more than usual, you know, uh, maybe too too much pressure on the knee. Uh, I don't know. It's just that the pain was more than you, than usual. Is it a constant pain, or is it something that happens with one particular movement? Algo constante, una una molestia constante, o en cierto movimiento, en cierto lanzamiento. No, la molestia está ahí, y la hora de lanzar también un poco más porque está haciendo, usando la, la, la pierna, pero sí, ahí sí ven constantemente el, el dolor está ahí. Sí, yeah, el discomfort es is, is constante, you know, and uh, when I'm pitching and I, you know, I, as I use my legs and I put more effort on, on, on my legs, my knees, um, then you feel it more. Do you think a couple of weeks rest could do good for him? ¿Tú crees que un par de semanas eh, sean buenas para ti? Eh, ¿O esperar a verlo? No sé, vamos a esperar mañana que, a ver qué que, que dicen. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, we're going to wait, like I said, you know, let's, let's wait till tomorrow and let's see, uh, let's see what happens. So Chapman Jack says the discomfort is always there and it's a little bit worse than he's experienced in the past. So this could be bad news. Yeah, and the fact that he felt it in the bullpen and was hoping that he could overcome it and he wasn't able to do that and he only lasted six pitches. He kept saying, let's see what the tests show. But he also knows what his body feels right now. And his body felt that after six pitches, he wasn't a major league pitcher anymore. He called his athletic trainer and his manager out there. And let's remind people what tendonitis is. It's an inflammation of a tendon that is caused by injury or overuse. He hadn't pitched in a week, and the Yankees are usually pretty careful with him. So if it's not overuse, it's an injury. So we'll wait and see what the tests show tomorrow on that and see what kind of moves the Yankees make. All right.